I wanted to stick with Pete Alonso because there's also like, you know, talk about the rumors of, in that regard. There's also other rumors involving a trade that might have happened or may or might have, uh, you know, been rumored to go with the Milwaukee Brewers earlier this year. Um, what have you heard about his trade availability, you know, earlier this year? And then like, what, what do you think the plans are for him long term? Yeah, so my understanding was that the Mets would probably listen in on really anybody on their roster that was movable just because they were in a mode of, hey, we got to like at least listen to these types of situate these deals. And like maybe there's a situation out there that just makes that much sense to us to do uh, with Alonzo. I don't know if it got like to the goal line. I know that Ken Rosenthal suggested that with uh, the company that I work for at The Athletic. Um, so that wasn't my reporting. I could see that perhaps happening that way. Um, and I would believe anything that kind of Ken puts out there as, as a great reporter that he is. Um, but I don't know how many instances there were of that. Um, and the Brewers, it made sense to them because they're a team that um, they're not going to take on a huge salary player, but with Pete Alonso, um, he's somebody that's going to be entering his final year of arbitration. And although that figure is going to be pretty high, um, he's still under like club control there. He's not a free agent quite yet. So that's a huge deal. And if you're in the Mets shoes, that's the time of year where, or that's the time of his career where like, if you were inclined to make that move, you make it now because you get the most value back as opposed to waiting till July when he has like what, two months left or so um, to be a player for that next team of his. Um, all that said, I just I just wouldn't trade Pete Alonso if it was me. Uh, I mean, he's a guy that you know what you're getting every season pretty much. Uh, granted, this year the numbers are a little bit down, but he's still putting together a season where he may finish with about 50 home runs again. And although it seems a little bit quietly, like that's that's the reality. Like he's on he's going he should be able to get to 50 home runs, which is pretty remarkable when you consider how bad his June was. Uh, all that said, like this is a team that I, I think that they will probably be true to what they've suggested and that maybe they won't spend as much as they did in the past, past couple of years, but they're still going to be a fairly competitive player. I, I would say in free agency and in the market to, to field a pretty good team next year. And I just don't see how uh, a very good team does not include Pete Alonso right now.